Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, oh, by the way, we, have, we we should handle business, dude. April 20th, obviously. Right off the bat. Let's just, let's handle business mm. right now. April 20th, Magoobies, live center dads. What the fuck? You have to go. Party of the year. It, I mean, I don't want to, I'm not trying to sound like a, a big shot, tough guy, but it is going to sell out. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> We're going to fight you all. Yeah. <laughs> you want to fight them? Well, I mean. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Do we lose? There's going to be fucking like 350 people. I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn off the lights and activate the fire system and. Oh. <gasps> In the in the rain in the dark, I'm gonna do karate on everybody. That's pretty sick. That'd be pretty. Just sick. Spin kicks, probably have katanas. Yes. That'd be pretty cool. Probably doing like spins with dual katanas and cutting people in the midsection, mm. not in half, but like you do that slice across the belly line, and they go. Ooh! Dude, simulating a kind of like you know, I'm not one for I'm not a big zombie invasion guy because I, I think it's kind of played out, but simulating like a massive like wave after like a tower defense game basically where we got to go on stage and play a live tower defense <laughs> Dude, against all the bros i'm gonna jump kick until i cramp you would jump kick yeah i don't know what i would do i, I think my my assault would be more of a sexual nature <laughs> 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 we're fighting for our lives <laughs> you gotta pull out all the stops so you, you get him I'll get her. <laughs> <laughs> i've already got two guys <laughs> <laughs> i got my hands full over here i can look at um, him like yeah i don't know i thought it was gonna be funnier i'm not gonna touch that guy's dick <laughs> <laughs> yeah magoobies 420 get down there timonium maryland um yes so do that get high guys. as hell yeah get yeah it's gonna be give yourself a seizure <laughs> yes probably will actually <laughs> it's no big deal i can do one a year two a year Guys, <laughs> one big bender. I was having them every day. I didn't know what they were. So, man, you were talking. Are you off the seizures? Sexy voice right huh? now? Did you quit seizures? Um, dude, I haven't had them. I, they're so easy to prevent. My ver <laughs> and again, I could have, I could have epileptiform events that are not quite epilepsy, but it could be like, I'm. I have electrical issues in my body. Mm. I used to have continuous heart palpitations. I cleared that. I, I did what I needed to do to get through that level of my own weird inner stuff. So now the electrical shits in my brain. So that's all it is. It's an electrical abnormality. You're chasing out gremlins. Chasing gremlins out. But I mean, I don't, you know, I'm going upwards through the root, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, it's just like, I need to, like, I've trapped energy here that I need to blast out of my skull to fucking. You, you think your nervous system might be a little gay? No, not at all. <laughs> no, very no? straight. Very straight. <laughs> think, think about girls. Think about girls getting excited. <laughs> no, not at all. You know, I'm just saying, I just no, didn't. I the answer just, for sure is 1,000%. No way. My nervous system's so fucking straight. Yeah. So there's so many girls. Something sucks you know? about being so sure, though. Yeah, it kind of seems like, weird. How do you know? I know. Okay. I pursued it to the full logical ends. All right. I used to look at very gay stuff. <laughs> I was like, you know what? <laughs> nah. What about like? Because your nervous system is a little something, right? No, mine's just a network of electrical impulses I can try and control. But it's on the mind. fritz, he's saying. So what's wrong with the house? That house like gay. Gay guys know exactly what they want. They want penises. My nervous system just, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? You don't think that happens to gay people every now and again? No way. You don't think gay they guys have electric seizures? Not at all. I ever. don't think gay guys know what they want. I think they know, I think they accept being told what they want by the advertisers on gossip sites. <laughs> <laughs> they want more goss. <laughs> <laughs> How are your gossip receptors? Ooh, now, you might, you might have like an unmonitored issue that's causing you know, seemingly disjointed effects. Elaborate. Try out some gossip. See if it helps. I mean, everyone loves. No, gossip. can you get us some gossip? Every, every, can we get some celebrity <laughs> gossip? Actually, let's see what's going on. I mean, everyone does. Let's love see how Matt responds yeah. to some gossip. Everyone does love gossip. Yeah, okay, now everyone loves it. Okay. <laughs> everyone right. loves gossip. Now everyone's kind of gay. Got it. It's not gay. <laughs> it's a matter of how much of your day you give over to gossip. <laughs> obviously, everyone. I mean, it's, dude, it's the inside dope. We. It's like a biological drive for gossip. Obviously. Yeah. The fucking juicy scoop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the tea. Yes. <laughs> no one's got tea. What's the tea? It better be high tea. It better, dude. If I don't sip from my cup, if I don't Kermit sip, dude, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> How are your seizures doing now, yeah. man? <laughs> <laughs> what if your what if your seizures got so bad that all you could do is sit in your house and look at celebrity gossip? Yeah, Yo, do you know what's fucked up? Is like 
depending on what parts of your brain it's happening in, you could do anything from take all your clothes off to like some, there was women who would like, when they're, it, it lasts for like 15 to 20 minutes, that weird electrical storm. And there were some women who were like, again, women would like take their clothes off and get naked and out of nowhere. And they don't even know what's going on until like it goes away. And then there was just one lady who would, when her, when her brain would seize up, because when it's non-local, just one little part of your brain like goes all crazy. So the rest of your body is just operating like normal. So this one lady would seek out the dirtiest, shittiest homeless dude she could find and have him like fucking threaten her and fuck her under a bridge. And she would come to like, what the fuck? And have to be like, oh. And you're just buying that story. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. Because she went on anti-convulsants and it stopped. Because they were like, what the fuck is up with this lady? And they thought she had schizophrenia. And they eventually, this happened to a ton of people way back when. Because they were like, "This, what the fuck's going on? And they're like, oh, you're having seizures. This is how people originally became homeless. They're like, okay. I keep getting yeah. to fuck these weird ladies under bridges. I guess well, I'll hang out wait for the next dude, one. Dude, because they would have her in a mental asylum place. And they, she would like out of nowhere just be chilling and be like, fuck you. So it was like a sequence of events. She'd be like, fuck you. Fuck, now they say this, it just sounds like a lady. They dangle the homeless guy in front of her. She'd get really mad yeah. and she'd get really horny. Yeah. She'd like be a, unable to explain kind of... why she was mad at all. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually you'd think that you did something wrong. <laughs> She's like a weird fuck zombie. It's like a... That's what they were, they were saying, like parts of your brain, and that's the thing too. They started doing a thing where they would remove parts of people's scalp or skulls. Excuse me, that was insensitive. They'd take their skulls <laughs> And they would just <laughs> hit you with electrodes and like dude dudes would be like, what do you see right now? And they'd be like, oh my god I'm seeing like the woods from my childhood and you'd have like a mm. vivid fucking memory. And they'd be like, what about this part? And they're just like eh. <laughs> 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 It's pretty cool. So guys anyway Lady Gaga dog napping woman charged over dog theft is now suing star over five hundred thousand dollars No questions asked reward <sighs> mm. They're saying Lady Gaga stole a French two French Bulldogs Koji and Gustave no, Wait, like, Lady, no, no, Lady Gaga's her... dogs were stolen. Who's suing? So then who's, uh... Because they wanted reward the money. Who found the dogs? She oh, the, she no. A big bag of loot. It, it, no, she sounds she, like it was the one who stole the dogs. The lady who stole the dogs. There we go. I was like, what's trying to get fuck? that reward money. Yeah, so the woman charged over dog theft is now suing the star. There we go. Did you ever think about, even, I'm, so, I'm talking about for maybe a, a second and a half of your childhood. Did you ever think that, like, I, yeah, I could be a pet detective? <laughs> Without, it definitely. Definitely. I still think about it when I see missing dog posters, in my, which is all the time because I live near the woods. Yeah. I, I grab one, I bring it home, and I put it on the fridge. I go, I'm going to keep an eye out for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually found a lost dog in the woods behind my house. No way. Yeah. And then I grabbed his collar, and I read his tag, and I called the number on it, and I waited for this lady. It was a 45-minute walk Damn. away from where he was. You're good. And I just sat there with his pup, and it was the only time I ever liked a dog. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it turned out that she'd rescued him. He was a beach dog from South America. Wow. That I guess there's like a pipeline for, I don't know, Northeast Philly poor people to somehow adopt these things. True, yeah. Do you think they're like... And, then, and then after that, I was obviously like, should I just go full time? I mean, Why not? How cool You, you gotta get be? sponsorships, though, because these people can't pay you. You gotta be like, this, this dog was returned to you by, you know, Brinks Home Security, and I, you just wear, like, a NASCAR jacket. Okay, let's think about this. Uh -huh. Dude, if, I mean, if you want a million dollars, all you'd have to do is just kind of stage this, like, lizard lick towing, and then just rescue, just, like, foster animals, and you just, like, have them for two months, and you create a whole scenario where, like, where they're lost, you have a guy play their owner, you could have a show on the Discovery Channel. Okay. You go out in the woods and be like, hold on, here, these twigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's definitely dog shit. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, here he is. Oh, my God. Yeah. You go, you find him the same spot in the woods a hundred times and have a whole pilot for a show on Discovery yeah. Channel. And then it's a foster dog, and then after like three months, you give it to someone else anyway. You just get rid of it. Just release it back into the woods and find it again <laughs> in the next season. Get paid off. Yeah. yeah, just for real. Ditch it. Then you have to deal with all the fucking editors. They're like, all he does is read the tags every episode. It's just like, it's just, dude, imagine okay, how cool you come read the tag. This guy be like, oh, hold on, hold on. I hear something. And it's like the last 10 minutes, you're like, come here, little guy. You'd watch that show every episode. Just make it up. Do it for the people. Yeah. Just do a lie animal detective show. Like when they do the professional fishing, my dad used to tell me there's dudes in scuba tanks putting fish on the hooks. Still believe them. I think he's right about that. He goes, that's just not real. There's people hooking those up. People underneath the water hooking fucking fish. Your dad's got the right idea. I think he's right. I, I never questioned it until now. I'm like, ah, oh, I used to sell that out loud. Although he might have been deprived of goss and his brain wasn't working right. <laughs> 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 he didn't know about Lady Gaga's dogs being returned and the reward money not being shelled out. <laughs> yeah, we could just steal celebrity dogs, but I guess the, it's the that money's not guaranteed, man. I think it was an inside job because that was the dog. I think there's a dog the walker. The dog walker got, got robbed up. at gunpoint. Lady Gaga. Lady Gossip put out fucking 
five hundred grand for the and I don't, I don't even I still don't understand what the fuck the whole thing is. I think that was a botched. Yeah, that's like, a, that's intricate. That's a gay Italian job. Yeah, <laughs> that was the gay Italian job. <laughs> We're gonna steal Lady Gaga's. Just running English around in Bulldog. Mini Coopers. <laughs> oh my god, get in the car! Ew, they're peeing on us. <laughs> <laughs> my god, I hate these things. You imagine yeah. how obnoxious it is being a dog walker in Lady Gaga's neighborhood, though. Just like the shittiest people in world in the world, just like mistreating you while you handle their pets that they kind of just like take pictures with every once in a while. You're saying Lady Gaga being a piece of shit or dog walkers? Lady Gaga being a piece of shit, and then you you moved to Malibu to walk dogs, so you are more than likely kind of a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking dogs to the stars, dude. What could be better? You're walking around Beverly Hills, just like staring at your phone, hoping that you know. Yeah, you that's th- you continue to get paid to do this, and then you're just crossing paths with other people in the same position. Yeah. Also being mistreated by billionaires. Also with you know <sighs> disgusting animals. Yeah. Constantly fantasizing about how to rob these people. Well, yeah. you have to. You're looking at a fucking dog with a better life than you every this single day. This is also yeah. my wife's life when we lived in L.A. This is what she did. She was a dog walker? Yeah. Was she mistreated by the clientele? I think you owe her an apology, actually, for uh, the way you're speaking of them. Rarely? I used to be a dog walker, too. Hold your, hold on. Let's hear this Sid, out. Sid, you hate poor people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what just and happened? you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some were really cool. <laughs> Wait, Matt just had a seizure. Can you, more I like Matt had a gay a seizure. <laughs> 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 you guys both know everyone, even the listeners, an apology. <laughs> oh, God, I want to fuck a homeless guy right now. I'm going to hold a knife to my throat and fuck me on the train tracks. Uh, what a crazy thing to have. Yeah. What, fucking uh, homeless guy, Philia? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Dude, me and Ansley were Thank just you, talking you, the other though. day about like how terrible, like, the, like what, what if you could be punched gay? What if you could get punched in the stomach so hard you turn gay? <laughs> <laughs> we saw your notes. That's what we were like. yeah. yeah. If you got punched, gay. Yeah, we it were could happen. No, so, it could happen. Yeah. So here's here's how we got to this, right? I was hot goss, right? Yes. So I was trying to teach my son about how fucking the media fucks with people. Yes. It could fuck up their life for sure, right? So for sure. You know, uh, you know who Gordon Whitehead is? No. Okay, he was the guy that allegedly killed Houdini. What? Right. What do you mean allegedly? Because he didn't die from a punch in the stomach, he died from appendicitis. His appendix burst. Like, we're getting punched in the stomach. No, no, just not. Just nine days later, his appendix. He ne- he didn't know he had. Who appendic- punched Houdini in the belly? Dude, this guy. Gary Gordon, Whitehead. Gordon Gordon Whitehead. Why? Gordon Whitehead. Dude, because Houdini put it out there. He was a uh, fucking armband Flip Green. He told the world, "I can survive any punch to the stomach. Like nobody could fuck with me." Why the hell would you say that? Well, he didn't expect somebody to sneak up on him when he was coming out of his dressing room and hit him off guard. Of course, what the fuck is he thinks going to happen, dude? <laughs> well, that's what Gordon Whitehead did. He was disappearing, turning no, everyone's face on. He was doing it on stage. He was like, "Come up here, the, the biggest guy in here. Come up here, punch me in the stomach, and watch how I take this." Was you think he was doing it for real? Or you think he was doing showmanship? No, nah, he was doing it for real. Houdini was one of those uh, like street musicians, like uh, David Blaine. So he was like jacked as fuck. So he got his body like really fucking like he fortified his abs. Yeah. And he was also dealing with the fact that we, we were living in an era where people didn't even know how to punch. People didn't know how to plant yeah. their feet and punch. They didn't like drink water and shit either. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he was like, he was getting punched. By yeah, like, a guy with scurvy like <laughs> broke his wrist <laughs> on your abs. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, so this dude was a college student, and he was like with his boys. They were drunk as fuck. Oh. Oh, they man. snuck up on his dressing room, waited for him to come out, and he punched him in the stomach. Right, and then he's his penis. He just work. oofed him. <laughs> oh, but like that was you know he got he got him off guard. <laughs> he oofed him hard, <laughs> and then nine days later he died of his appendix bursting. And then they blamed it on because the he punch. like Houdini was such a fucking hero. Yeah. This guy cracked the veil of like Houdini's. Like, you <laughs> Not know, so tough now, all right. <laughs> that's what he got him with. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's fair though. You get punched in the gut and you die. They did have getting punched in stomach reform after that. They said no more on site. Yeah. It's got to be. You got to let <laughs> them, You got to let them tense True. up. Yeah, dude. They socked him. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. That's the funniest way to die. Yeah. Easily. For Easily. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So then that's that's how we got there. Like depending on like how gay of a sound you make when you get punched in the stomach. Punch that you can never get gay from getting punched in the stomach. You'd have to be punched in the head. Nah, it would have to be a stomach punch. Really? Are you are you insane? You, I mean, I, I'm I'm not gonna. Ba- I I could kind of see where you're going with this. More so, like the closer you are punched to your butthole, the gay. Is that what it is? <laughs> is that the logic? I think I saw it happen once. Where? Elementary school. Go on. Right. So there was this kid. Uh, 
this kid named Nick. Now, like, I'm going I'm to describe him to you. Why do you always say everyone's full names? Don't say <laughs> the name. I just said the first name. I just said the first name. <laughs> so when I, when, I describe, when I describe what he did to get punched in the stomach, you guys are going to think that he was already gay, but I promise you All right, what is he this? wasn't. What's going on? So he was, like, he was one of these kids that was, like, really hard policing the lines. Like, he wouldn't let people cut in front. And he was, like, the, a big stiff arm. Which kid. lines are we talking? Recess Dude, lines? Like, lunch yeah, lines? Re recess and lunch. Like, re like. Was he granted any authority by like the school, like a volunteer, or was he? Nah. we called them line, line safeties. Yeah, safety was he a patrol. safety? He was not a safety patrol. He was just a dude that was sick of. The we shit. just called him a safety, <laughs> kind of like prison. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't know yeah. that was patrol was supposed CEOs. to be. Yeah. yeah, we were below patrols. <laughs> yeah, and he, he, he stuck he's a, a big line guy. Yeah, he's a big line. He stuck. Well, he stood for law and order. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, so he's straight as hell, <laughs> right? Yeah, he got uh, punched in the stomach for it one day for holding up the line. For holding up the line, right? The next day, he came to school very effeminate. What? He was just different from then on. Switched it up. Dude, it was he like... He was going mad. It was almost like he was, he was almost like he was trying to be effeminate so like people couldn't punch him anymore. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like, you can't hit a fucking almost girl. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think... I think you can be punching the stomach. I think it would have to be a stomach punch to turn gay. I'm pretty sure this guy was just gay. <laughs> I, think. I think he was just a gay guy. Yeah. It, get, maybe he felt the fucking force of a man hitting him in the belly and he went, oh. He might have, they, maybe he thought, he, yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one. I can't really say. If you got punched in the stomach turning gay, I think it's more of a punch in the head thing, to be honest. <laughs> punch in the belly would just turn you straighter, I feel like. Right? <laughs> It would have to. Like, uh, if, you got buckled, if you got buckled from a punch to the stomach, you think that'll turn you straight? Yeah, for sure. You think it was... I think, I the, think that might convert a gay guy to becoming straight. Dude, I think Don't the, do it, obviously. The first one will set you on the right course. The second one turns you gay. You're talking one, two, dude, in the get, belly? Getting your clock cleaned and your knees buckled, that's your first taste of being gay. Doing a little curtsy because you got punched. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... Right, yeah, maybe male underwear is not that comfortable. Maybe I can try. <laughs> guys, check this out. Man accused of killing three Kentucky officers dies in jail. Sheriff says. <laughs> this guy killed three cops in a shootout. Man accused of killing three officers and wounding several others during a shootout in Floyd County, Kentucky, has died after he hung himself at the jail. What? Now, here's the thing. I mean, the, so the sheriff's office is like, yep, killed himself. Can you believe it? He killed three of our guys, and then when we arrested him, he killed himself. Yeah. You got We got to have... If you, I'm not saying you should ever kill cops. I'm sure. saying that if you do, we can't give you to the cops. We got to give you to something else. Who's going to watch the Watchmen? <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a bigger question. <laughs> that's a bigger question. I'm saying we need a second, we need alternative jail for people that kill cops so that they can, they can actually have a fair shot or they're allegedly kill cops. Like special custody. Like they have to hang with pedophiles. We'd have to give them to the pedophiles. But if, I mean, eventually that's all, the cops control all that. The the yeah. jails, you know what I mean. What do we? Where do we put these guys? I think you put them in jail. I was like, gonna say cyber cafe, but what is cyber cafe? <laughs> you put them in a cyber cafe, like Capital One. Like what is what is a cyber? No, like cafe? A, like a like a gaming lounge, maybe <laughs> Capital One <laughs> gaming yeah, lounge. Let's get them playing like Counter Strike or something for a couple days <laughs> until the judge can see them. Because otherwise, the cops are just gonna make. They're gonna say you hung yourself. True. I say if you shoot cops, dude, you have to go to jail. And if the cops beat you up, it's your fault. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. I don't know. I don't so like you, that. You just want You're saying it's free pegs. Free <laughs> if pegs, you kill bro. cops, it's free pegs. Free pegs. But it, it's alleged. He, he also it might, have, until proven he guilty. might have hung himself. Yeah. No way. He's on well, fucking probably 10 Well, we'll never know, dude. The only word we have is the word of the sheriff. Yeah. Who's law and order now, Matt? He wants order. The sheriff. I respect he, the sheriff. Tim wants people. He just wants right. them to get their day in court. Matt, you're a big sheriff respecter? Yeah. Sheriffs especially, yeah. Yeah, why? Sheriffs. <laughs> bring law, those guys bring law and order to the Wild West. Imagine that task. They bring it? Yeah, they bring it, man. <laughs> they bring law and order. They bring that Wild West. You guys West. just wild know what happened West. in Philadelphia? We lost a fucking cop and got shot and executed at a temple. I don't like that. I don't like people getting shot and executed. Yeah, tell that kid fucking right to the cops. They beat his ass. Fuck him. He's done. Yeah. We can't have that crap. Well, what if they got the wrong guy? They didn't. He's on camera. That long-haired white boy that shot the cop? Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was a sexy-ass little that twink from the sun. Yeah, white boy, right? <laughs> he was trying to get into the ATV scene. <laughs> I don't know what this <laughs> guy ended up shooting. <laughs> yeah, he tried to get into the dirt bike scene in Philly and ended up shooting a, a school police officer. <laughs> He's a fucking rootin' tootin', bro. He was rootin' tootin'. I Man. think if you do stuff like that, they're not going to be able to frame a guy for shooting three police officers. That, that's like on camera. To. He hung himself before he go to trial. Whoops, now there's no, one, there's no trial that even has to take place. Here's my thing. This is my thing. There's going to be tons of violence in a society. Either you mediate it through the police. It's imperfect, obviously. It's not the best. But who do you want to mediate all the violence in society? But I think there's people that think that you could get rid of all the violence. 
That's bull. It's guys, never gonna. It's never gonna happen. Guys, it's never gonna happen. This is getting very close to Scott Adams talk. What are you talking about? Uh, no, pull up the <laughs> FBI crime. <crisis. laughs> <laughs> it's not. I need back up. There's three. This is very, very close. Mm. I don't think so. At all. I think okay. it's a. De- this is more. I mean, I. You can take it that way if you want to. All right. So how would you? You're allowed to. How, how would you stop crime? I'm not saying you stop it. You just have to mitigate. Yeah. It. How would you get rid of all crime forever, man? I never yeah. said you can. Where would you start mitigating? Where problem. would you start mitigating crime? You have to have some sort of centralized force to deal with. Where would they be centralized? It's the police. Mm. We already figured this out. Okay. It's the best people can do, other than like maybe. Figuring out how to tell people to like the inner resources they need to like not spring to like senseless violence But it's like dude, that's the best people can do we figured out we have the cops Because mm. they did the same thing they did the Chaz and then they're like we'll take all the police away and like actually let's do like a neighborhood watch And let's do it this and they like fucking shot a guy and they're like oh yeah. this is harder than it fucking looks dude Oh uh, 404 not found no showing me FBI crime statistics <laughs> <laughs> Those are probably old. What, 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 what do you guys specific? think we should do crime wise? <laughs> I mean, I don't have. Yeah, they solution. pulled it though. It's gone. <laughs> the page is gone. FBI crime sticks is gone. Yeah, four hundred four. They don't allow them anymore. I mean, I memorized them. I don't care. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> Let's see. How do we? St- you're saying? Wait, are we saying we're stopping all crime forever? Was the no, plan? never. No, what? I thought you were asking. Was that your question? Is how you, you do guys it? asked? I said you can't. You need a mitigating force. There's going to be violent crime in any society. Mm-hmm. Always disagree. What, how I'm all I'd love for the OA. <laughs> it's, that, that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have violent crime, and everyone goes. This sucks. It's like, yeah. Right, I actually, I, you go stop. But you go go into a fucking poor neighborhood and break up a husband and wife arguing. Go knock up on that door and do that. I, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Mm. My uncle was a cop and did that and got shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's fucked yeah. up. But okay, so then uh, there's a there's a response to this, and I've never explored it. But people say even if you could <laughs> eliminate all violent crime. It wouldn't have the desirable effect that you're thinking it would. If you eliminate, like you don't even want to eliminate. What would happen then? I don't know, but apparently it plays a role in society that is vital to kind of the entire setup that we have. Well, first Whoa. of all, in who order- told you this, Confucius, dude? Where the hell did you get this from? It was someone saying something in an interview, and I went, "Wow, that's interesting." And then I went back to playing Rocket League because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, at the end of the day, I truly don't fucking care. This has no bearing on my life. In order, in order to have a completely <laughs> violenceless society. Yeah. Like you have to live under threat of like the harshest violence. Of That's probably exactly what I missed. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying we probably need more violence? Is that what you're saying? More no, violence? Let's, let's get like let's get fun with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let it kind of be wild. Like other than yeah, it's like either like Sid says. It, yeah, it's either you fucking live under like a totalitarian like Sharia law type setup, which again, there's probably dudes still sneaking in horrendous stuff even under that. No. Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Man, what are you talking about? You think there's guys that like basically just hold power in Sharia societies just to abuse it? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm saying dudes Why probably still it? I'm saying dudes probably still party. Bad guys under even under Sharia law still probably party. You they're catching ours here. Of course. There. Yeah, they're catching ours. Catching they, ours? They're like, I might get my dick chopped off. Yeah, like rapes. <laughs> I mean it happens, dude, in the Middle East. It happens everywhere. I disagree. Do you have that? violent rapists floating around? You need a centralized <laughs> force to punish these guys. Catch and punish. <laughs> it's just it's just a fact of the matter. So you're saying like if, yeah. if somebody rapes somebody, then the consequence should then be in like a sex slave to somebody. Going Up forward. to me, what I say? I yeah. say dig a hole and toss them, yeah. If, depending on the severity of a child, I say dig a hole and fucking. I'm a Duarte kind oh, of guy. Oh, I thought you were more a dig them out and toss them. I'm a Duarte <laughs> kind of guy. Okay. If, like child rapists, it should just be like, dude, we got 8 billion people. You tried, you failed. Hole dug. Well, ch- child rapists for sure, but like, what about adult rapists? Depends. Up to, I, yeah, I don't know. What? <laughs> adult rapists? <laughs> yeah. What would you say, what would be your most lenient punishment for an adult rapist? Male on male rape. That's what I'm talking about. I would say you guys. Brown eye for a brown eye. I would say boys, boys, (laughs) boys. Be men. Settle this right here. Boys. Would you let him try to defend himself? Who? The rapist? Yeah, the guy that's being punished with another rape. Mm. I would give the other guy like a bow staff. And they go ahead. I'm like, dude, if you can't beat your fucking. To men specifically. I say, if you can't beat your rapist with a bow staff. I think you want a shorter range weapon. A bow staff? No, you want to keep that guy at a distance, man. You don't want him closing the gap on you again. <laughs> you wait, you'll, you'll, wait, you'll give you'll give the rapist the most. No, stuff? dude. 
Hell no. So the raper will get the both staff. No, the the rapey. The rape, yeah. Yeah, the rapist and raper are one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> so the rapey would get the fucking both staff. <laughs> yeah. And he'd get a week to train. <laughs> you get a week. You get a week to get nice. So you're thinking like beat them senseless, then teach him a lesson. Teach him a lesson. Yeah, teach him a lesson. Okay, just fucking like and like while each between either like smack, he'd be like, you know, what you did was wrong. <laughs> mm. I think that'd be cool. I don't know. Maybe that's a good step forward. I don't have all the answers, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun to watch you work them out, though. Yeah, it's all we can do. What about shoplifting? How would you punish them? I should get the hell Not at all. Get the hell home. Yeah. yeah. Get the get, hell home. Get out of here. Or it would be, that would be. Kick him with the side of your foot. Honestly, the that would be ankle monitor. Stay in the store until you work off what you stole. Mm -hmm. Can't leave the store until you work oh, it off. Real quick. How about we do this to the uh, the rapist, right? We He can fight back and do whatever he can to fight off the rapee. Sure. But we duct tape his hands and feet together. Yeah, yeah fine. The rapist? Yeah. Rapist. So he, he can like hop around. He can try to get away. Oh, so he's he's a fucking swim. He's a swim. He's a you know that guy's done that. He yeah. has no chance. He's basically an inchworm. That's fair. Yeah. Or you can have the guy can do a two on one where it's like I mean at that point tag. you can edge. You can edge while <laughs> raping your rapist. <laughs> you can go Ooh, go to pop. Hold on, stay down. And you just put your knee in the, in the small of his back. You're like don't fucking go anywhere. Hold I on, think you could take stops pulsing. All right, and then get back in there. I think you could take it there. Oh, that's actually not a bad and point. And you could just, you could yeah. work up the heftiest load to leave inside your attacker. So you're saying the victims <laughs> of violent crime would be, they'd have the right to enact the same form of violent crime upon their assailant. They don't have to do it. But that's what you're saying. I was saying they'd attack him with a bow staff, but now you're saying they could fully reenact whatever happened. I mean, you're in the Coliseum. People are screaming men only, for we're, you. Men only, by the way. We're Pe just talking yeah. about men only right People now. People are screaming for you to receive justice. You've <laughs> conquered this man. You're holding the weapon above your head, and you go, damn, I'm hard as fuck right now. Yeah, but what? Okay, so what <laughs> I'm if, about to reclaim my manhood. <laughs> what, if they're, what if you go like this? You're boom, boom. He's like, please, mercy, mercy. And that's for me. And that's for that. And that's for that. Yeah, well, what if there's like mercy, and you stepped over, and everyone's going, ah, and you go... <laughs> You're not worth my fucking jizz, dude. Fucking <laughs> step on him. Get this guy the fuck out of here. And you go here, take yours back as well. Ugh. He hung himself in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just honestly think like you should it, have it's us, by the way, America. We are the global supple power. What was, what, what was the supple power again? I've, that was that was from the free. I know what it was. What, what, what was the supple power? Did just. You, Suppleness, just like uh, <laughs> using, using, using suppleness to solve problems. Could you use it in a sentence? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. Uh, you're saying what? What is suppleness though? Like, like throwing like little boys and stuff? Like, no. I mean, just like all the I uh, supple. I don't think they're supple at all. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is you, a don't, you don't think clapping cheeks is supple? And no. To some degree, no. I mean, for sure, you're doing it for dominance. It's not supple whatsoever. It's supple. Supple's supple like tasteful, having big man. shiny cheeks and like tucking a little bib in and pulling up to a table and going, "Ooh, yes." Yeah, what do you imagine? What do you imagine? Dude, uh, clapping a dude's <laughs> cheeks is not supple, dude. For, for the good, for justice, <laughs> not supple. No way. It's completely there's, there's, dominatory there's, there's behavior. Gotta, there's gonna Supple be... would be like eating sushi off of his fat belly, <laughs> <laughs> and just twisting his yeah. penis like not that hard. Everything, or like, <laughs> or like laying on the floor with like your chin in your hands and kicking your feet up behind you while someone fucks you. That's supple. That's, mm. Well, it have to be like only their helmet, but yeah, like if someone's fucking just, just the tip. Yeah, just just <laughs> the tip every like <laughs> two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't. <laughs> when you said that before, I like I clocked it. and I was like, what, so now I want to do. So you're you're saying the sup? We're like the supplest country, but how? What's up, bros? Tim Butterly here from the hit podcast, Stoner Dads. Listen, I know we like to goof around on here about how funny it would be if our dads had to have sex with guys to save our lives, or how cool it would be if Hitler took LSD and learned how to talk to dolphins. But I want to get serious with you for a second about Manscaped. Manscaped is excited to share with you the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. This ultimate package makes it easy to create your signature look. It starts with the Beard Hedger, a waterproof cordless trimmer featuring 20 different hair cutting lengths. After you've shaped up, care for your beard with the included shampoo, conditioner, beard oil, and balm. Me, myself, personally, I like to keep a clean beard. Slightly longer than a recovering addict, but also shorter than CrossFit guys who kind of act like they're a Navy SEAL, but really they're just a fucking office dork with a Fitbit. 
Manscaped is also throwing in a free beard brush, comb, and scissors to make you barbershop fresh without having a black guy call you old ass, busted ass, Harry Potter ass bitch and stuff like that. So get 20% off and free shipping with our code DADS. That's D-A-D-Z at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use our code DADS. That's D-A-D-Z. Always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Make me under, I want to understand. You don't think we're the supple, we don't, you don't think, no we, way. you don't think we partake in the supple nature more than any other country. I need, I need your definition of suppleness. All right. Europe would one. crush us in suppleness, dude. Dude, they don't have, they don't have enough fat chicks. They're all just like fish body. Per capita weirdos. they might. They're all fish mm. body weirdos, dude. The dudes make up for it. They all, they're all built like fucking like violins, dude. They're all like, eh. <laughs> You, you, where do you where do you think we rank in appreciation of suppleness? We're fat as hell. We're not supple. <laughs> supple's like supple's like tasteful. What a thick John. Yeah. They're not supple. Pogs supple. Pogs would be supple, but I'm okay. saying most of we don't the the amount of women who like toe that line successfully is a, definitely a minority in the country. Yeah, Can we define. I'd say we get a definition would, on supple. I'd say pogs are definitely for an audience of color, and I think they're a little bit lenient with the definition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while you're looking that up, uh, real quick, a Florida man found with over one ton worth of child pornography. Whoa, they're weighing it now. That's how much he had. One ton? One t over one ton. Like uh, how many kids is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, in America, probably like three or four. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. Supple is like flexible. That's what I was confused about. Is moving easily and gracefully flexible. Her supple fingers. What? It does not mean like a fat smooth. Exactly. So you wouldn't I notice. I thought supple was like slightly engorged and and red and shiny. No, supple <laughs> means able to bend or fold easily. Supple leather or supple egg, skin. Egg, now back to the clapping of the cheeks. You don't think there would be some noticeable suppleness while you were clapping those cheeks for justice? I'm further from understanding, actually. I, I I think it would just be you'd be focusing on how hard you were for justice. I think you'd be on yeah. the complete opposite side of the thing. If I'm if I'm clapping for justice. I'm not even, this is just me. Yeah. I'm not even noticing the cheeks, dude. <laughs> I'm, it's just me in the hole. That's all I'm thinking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to, just between me. I, I, I mean, I, that's my thing. I can't speak for yeah. you, but I'm just me, how hard I am in the fucking hole, dude. Yeah, I'm dude, locked I in with the crowd. I, I apologize. Dude. I, 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 sure, I forget about the partner. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Are coming, you not yeah. entertained? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm coming from a place of, I, I've never, I've never been in a butthole before. I have no idea what it's Seriously? like. Seriously? I have no idea what I think the, the time's running out, dude. We're getting old. <laughs> oh, I'm not. It's not. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You're going to your grave. Yeah, I'm going to the grave. No way. That's what a mistake, up. dude. <laughs> See? I imagine it's, it's like a supple thing for like people to go back to that. I mean, now you're talking supple. You're talking about bendable, flexible. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that's okay. You were talking about butt cheeks. Now you're talking about the butthole. Dude, you didn't know what, what supplement. Do you, what do you it's think, fine. Wait, what do you think, <laughs> what do you think <laughs> clapping cheeks is? You were talking about the butt cheeks would be soft and supple. Sid. That's, that's, that's where you went. <laughs> that's where you went. You said cheeks. I clapping was trying to cheeks. While clapping cheeks, you wouldn't notice any suppleness. I don't know, dude. I'm honestly, I've lost the plot. <laughs> I've genuinely lost the plot. Dude, dude, we went down a rabbit hole. Now we're at the bottom. Let's get out. Let's get out. <laughs> we got to the bottom of the rabbit hole. We good, dug. Good digging, boys. And yeah. we dug. Yeah. And we went, oh, all right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we got down there. We found a sexually aggressive <laughs> albino blind child with Bono and <laughs> Sting and we said okay you have fun we're turning back <laughs> all I'm saying is it's gotta be supple inside a butthole it's gotta be find out nah I don't wanna know okay you're obsessed with it I'm you curious. haven't stopped talking about <laughs> anal sex. You would get real. I'm like, Jesus. I have, I have, of course, I have a curiosity. Yes, I've never experienced it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yes. You got to pull the band aid off. I mean, are vaginas <laughs> not supple? Vaginas are pretty supple. Yeah. So the fuck. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, you're, you're, missed, you're putting the fucking butthole on a pedestal, bro. You're, you're the only one. I'm putting the pussy on the pedestal, but you're with the butthole on a pedestal, dude. I just don't know about it. It's a mystery to me. You never put your finger in someone's butt? It's not the same. Of what? Fucking them? How do you know? Because I put my finger in other things, Bro, and you're it's not the same as coming. you with anal sex. Just have it once. <laughs> Just have it once. I'm Just gonna... so you know, I mean, there's a there's what a what the hell, dude? This is it's the ruining there, your life. There's a cloud. <laughs> there, there's a cloud over a region in the mini map of your mind. 
<laughs> I would say this. Explore the region. I'm going to start having seizures. It's a full thunderstorm. It's a you have yeah. a full thunderstorm in your brain. <laughs> just get into it, or just leave it alone forever. Never. So you're lacking yeah. lizi- visibility. I don't think I think I'm good. I think. Oh, okay. I think you're I'll not, say this. You, you won't stop talking about f- butt fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else cares about it. Sid, I'm I'm being 100 percent serious right now. If this starts to Wait. if this starts to affect your podcasting, I'm never gonna let you hear the end. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna keep a tally of all the times you guys bring up butt fucking. But I'm good with it. I'm totally good with it. You think I don't like to celebrate my own birthday every year? <laughs> no, here, here uh, no, give us a reason. All right, so here we go. What does anal sex feel like? I mean, I'm done with it, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> totally over. Do a control F for supple, please. See, look, <laughs> it's impossible. This is the first sentence. It's impossible to say exactly what anal sex feels like. You're so curious. That, so many factors. Doesn't that so make it worse for you? <laughs> <laughs> There's not even a normal pathway of descriptions of common experiences for you to get there. You're on a, a <laughs> lily pad in the middle of a pond with no connection to anal sex. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, Tim's so wrong about anal sex in this one, dude. What a bad take. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Get a butthole, get a butthole fleshlight, dude. They should have sent a poet. Actually, yeah. yeah, where did you look that up? Was that Cora? No, it was oh, Healthline.com. Healthline. Oh, You're looking for a fucking... physician to describe it. He's trying to go clinical. You need an yeah. artist or a yeah, you do, or a friend on a podcast to tell you what it's like. Sure. <laughs> 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 it's like honestly, imagine if <laughs> it, having anal sex feels like regular sex, but it feels like someone turned off the lights inside the pussy. <laughs> Did you ever play the game Pipe Dream? What's that? No. Is it's that like where, where you, you have to like connect all the pipes? Reconfigure the pipes so yeah, that it's like something sticking your dick in Pipe Dream. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> like, what do you mean? Pipe Dream's like the screensaver that like comes I, up. I get that, but like sticking your dick you in You want to know so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you said something. I'm not going to even <laughs> talk about as, this anymore. As, it tracked perfectly for me, Matt. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Dude. <laughs> You're going to have to find out. You have to find out. You're going to go, oh, yeah, <laughs> different, but I can't put my finger. Oh, Pipe Dream. I get it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick comes in the other side. And you're like, what the hell? Where the fuck did that come from? It loops. <laughs> Your dick does a loop inside of a butthole and then comes am back I, out. Am I yeah. the only person that's never been in a butthole in this room? I feel very unsupported right now. Probably. Nobody. Nobody. Everybody report in. It's just you, man. Clock in, brother. Holy shit. Clock you're, in, brother. You're not. <laughs> it's nothing. It's not cool. It's just like, whatever. It's a waste of time, to be honest. I can't believe you're so obsessed with it. Just let it go. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's dude. It is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Get the whole rest of your life to get it. Matt, could we could we have Sydney uh, simulate it with normal vaginal sex? Like, could, could you change something up with normal sex to to can give him the experience? I think so. I think if you sit like with your your own knees up, like you're on a squatty potty and have normal sex, you'll I think that would... <laughs> and a cannonball. <laughs> 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 if you cannonball into the pussy, and then also every 15 seconds you go, "Are you sure you're okay?" <laughs> That'll kind of give you the experience of having. You get a butthole <laughs> fleshlight. You can get a butthole <laughs> butthole fleshlight today. Yeah, and you can just never think about this ever. You can go. You have the shed, right? Mm-hmm. Hit the shed. <laughs> hit the shed. Hit a butthole <laughs> flashlight in the shed and just drop it forever. <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sid's just sitting on a broken weight bench covered in weed flakes, fucking a butthole flashlight. <laughs> With just like the only light in the room just swinging over his head, moving all the shadows around. <laughs> Grips a weed whacker and comes. <laughs> like shaking tools off the walls. Oh, and then you can bury it in your backyard. You can bury it. Oh, no, awesome. I would my, roof it. Th- yeah, my you roof it? <laughs> I go outside to throw it on the church. The high winds. The high winds will blow that off, man. <sighs> oh, wow. Dude, fucking, that's a terroristic act, dude. Coming inside of a flashlight and, and just throwing tossing it. it. The <laughs> <laughs> I came out to seeing that, I'd, I'd cry. If I like, came out in my yard and saw a cummed in butthole flashlight in my l- yard, I would just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'd be so mad. That's kind of a hate crime. There's got to be a hate it's crime. Got, it's a fucking like bio, ter- <laughs> it's like a bioterrorism crime. Mm, Did you just leave your cummed in fleshlight kicking around? What's the punishment? I don't want to say uh, that it, is an act of war. <laughs> the, I, if if your male neighbor and your male throws a 
combed in flashlight in your yard, I think you can storm his house and take him to the you arena. You know what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, you know what? what? Rape him. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I get a tally for the amount of times Matt just brought up but fucking another dude just now? Why are you so fucking <laughs> you project your sexual insecurities? It's insane. You haven't stopped this whole episode. It's crazy, dude. Like, oh, is your so you're just gay? Is your nervous? System? It's like Sid. <laughs> fucking, it's all right. The worst part is that this was all premeditated. <laughs> it's 2023, bro. What? What's your agenda, Accuse dude? Matt of being gay. Never drop it. Okay. It's crazy. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I just want to make sure you're good. <laughs> make sure that's not on there. <laughs> make sure it's not on there. You don't stop. <laughs> it's insane. Mm-hmm. But guess no. what? Guess what? But I actually read, I read actually that you, even if you could get rid of all the gay shit on podcasts, it wouldn't even be a desirable result. It plays an important part in podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> you need it. You need homoerotic tension. Mm-hmm. You need it, dude. I think we got there. Yeah, we fully. I think we're redlining, actually. I think we did. I think <laughs> we're. But yeah, dude, Sid, I think just get into whatever, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into that. I'm pretty sure I'm not into that. <laughs> you won't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yo, let's let's talk about what we really can't talk, talk turkey. About. Yeah. Let's talk about shit that's just straight as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm go. gonna pitch. Are you ready for it? Yes. A slow dance only bar and nightclub. <laughs> that's as straight as it gets. Uh, that's as straight as it fucking gets. Slow dance only, like a line country dance type thing, but it's slow dance only. Bar and nightclub with like heavy fucking dinners. You could get so full <laughs> and just swing with your babe for hours, bro. Just fucking it's late in the evening. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of fingering on the dance floor. Uh, we, 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 no, we would keep it. You are a pervert, dude. <laughs> I, I am. What is slow dancing for? Just fucking revving it up. <laughs> Rev it up and you go home to a nice night of anal sex. <laughs> no, it'd be a Ooh, nice. Can we do front to back slow dancing? <laughs> of course. Yeah, you can right, fucking okay. spin her around. You know, so it's all dancing, all night of slow dancing. No, you would just fucking, you would dance all night. You'd have, you'd have your first course, you know, with a little bit of maybe some fucking like calamari. And then it was like, all right, guys, let's go. Casey to JoJo, the whole restaurant gets up for the Casey to JoJo song. Mm. Next course comes out and you just don't stop eating the whole night. Just, just dudes farting in dress pants the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be so fun. So everybody's fly. Fly, oh my god. Yeah. You would not get, this, this is, is an not occasion. a casual event. Yeah. Oh, I'd be, dudes would be checking dudes at the door. semi formal. No dress shoes, get the fuck out of here. Blazer? Yes, preferably. Mm-hmm. Preferably. Could, turtleneck underneath? That you know, for surely passes, yeah. yeah. You just have to just look like, you'd have to look your best. You Any I mean? singles here, or is this couples only? You could go try to meet the one, but you'd have to be with a couple. You'd have to be somehow attached to a couple. You gotta be vouched. You can't have. You can't have just fucking. Yeah, you have to be vouched for. Mm. You can't have lone gunmen at the slow dance place, dude. Mm. Just crushing. That's a, steak. a shark in the water. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> crushing a steak and just by themselves. You they, but they could, you could attach to a couple and be like, yeah, man. And you could be slow dancing on the floor and be like, you know, and you point to your friend and you see it, you'd be like, yo, let's go, let's match. Now, what do you think? Now, uh, imagine that you open this business the first year, you're working really hard, but you're seeing like, okay, I'm starting to turn a profit. People are, this is starting to catch on. The local blogs are starting to write about this place. It's for sure. It's not quite like there's no line out the door, but I'm doing solid business every night. There's kind of, I've got my regulars coming in, right? Mm -hmm. Now, year two, some of these couples, they're not making a big deal about it but they're starting to swap and they're keeping it quiet. I knew this would happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, knew, you're saying, I knew this day would come. <laughs> may I have I this, knew this day yeah. in the simulation with you're, it. You're talking about tasteful, like, I'm may talking I about cut like, in? May yeah, I cut may in? I cut in and it's like, ha ha ha. And you're just like, oh, I'm going to let my wife, my wife get gassed up by a guy giving her a little bit of attention. Right. Whoa. But then, I mean, what, what are you, you back what to you the mashed potatoes here? or what are you up to? Do you hit the mashed potatoes? You take his wife. I'm I'm picking off other people's plates at this point. <laughs> I, I mean, his... And also, clearly, I'm not the guy cutting in. <laughs> Obviously not. You you would be a gentleman. Clearly, like... I'm a regular customer, and I'm all about the food. Are you doing business with this man? Are you doing business with this man? <laughs> Ooh, good question. Are you it's like the manager? Did you invite at your bank? him there. It's a the manager at your local bank. You did just you, know him from about you, town. You know this man and his wife, and you go, "Hey, why don't you guys come out and hang out with us at the supper club?" Yeah. 
We're drinking mashed potatoes through straws. <laughs> yeah. Four inch diameter. We're sucking mashed potatoes <laughs> off of our plates and never use. There's no silverware in the entire building. <laughs> <laughs> it's Why just. Don't you come check it out. You'll, I mean, at the very, you'll have a nice meal and you'll you'll get to dance to your wife with you know listen to a little bit of R. Kelly and it'll be fine. <laughs> I think and then this kind of progresses. Obviously, they have such a great time. They come back and then other people are just like, oh, we can trade partners every once in a while. Okay. Yeah, I, I think you'd have to move would until be... eventually, dude. They're going home together. We're you're full on keys in a basket. Oh my the god! Social, what have you turned my place into? The social, <laughs> swag, the social scene this has been completely yeah. destroyed by controversy. Rumors are. I mean, a nightmare. The mayor is involved. I, I want to, <laughs> he's definitely been in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want a nice place. It's just rich, decadent stews. I, I agree with you. Just like. Well, know. I hope it just goes regularly good then and none of that weird stuff happens. I really hope not. Because <laughs> then it's like, they, well, you'd have to be like tactful about it. Someone cuts in with your wife. You see their wife. You chat them for a while. You, you know, have a good well, you time. you leave her hanging. You don't You don't get her on the dance floor. You go, all right, it's good talking to you. Oh, I got to go get back to my Capri salad. <laughs> 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 you know, it's pretty difficult to have that many people like rubbing up against each other populist wise without them either fighting or fucking. Ah, slow dancing is peaceful, dude. I've never seen yeah, but it's all sensual. There's a lot of sensuality in the air. Yeah, but you're locked in fucking gaze. When I'm slow dancing, the world's disappeared. I'm gone. I'm locked in a gaze, and I'm just fucking like... I'm only focusing on the end of the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I slow dance, I'm in another world. Yeah, but you're, I just all, love you're, you're all stars in a galaxy. For sure. You know what I mean? You're all you're all locked in and there's this fucking like the the fuck the dark matter of of the area is just all sensuality. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, but I don't know if it would do you think it would spill into one another. See, that's the thing. Like It has to. There might be some people go for it during the slow dance. I'm saying I'm not go for it. I'm fully locked in. Like I know what you're saying. You're slow dancing, you're kind of peeking around, you're like this is No, not even peeking life. around, but just getting locked in more because there's so much locked in energy around you. I'm a bit of a sexual isolationist. I don't really. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. I don't disagree. I'm just saying for me, I'm just locked in. I'm feeling the dress. It's silky. I'm going. Yeah, that's the thing. Dude. You go, ooh, didn't anticipate feeling this fabric on your body tonight. Oh, my. Mm. Yeah. Wasn't planning on gophering, but my sheath uh. underwear ran a little bit high. And <laughs> I'm kind of being pressed into your mm. pelvic area. Ooh, right? I, maybe I've Goodness taken gracious. several blue shoes in advance. Ooh, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. It's like, yeah, what if I try to flex my prostate and drive into you right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I cut my pants. I went from not covering to coming my I pants. I mean, dude, uh, first of all, now all, we can't have anal sex. <laughs> all of our boxers are pre All of our boxers are just pre cum dude. It's like, you know, when you catch a fish and you like leave it on a newspaper, it's just fucking, yeah. that, like, dude, that's a like strong energy in the room, man. You can't get away from that. A bunch of pre cum dudes in one room. <laughs> <laughs> Bellies full of fucking Come mashed potatoes on. and butter. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Man, I gotta be honest, I love this idea. <laughs> just a small cognac glass full of gravy. Just like, <laughs> this place is fucking, this would be awesome. Yeah. I think this is how England got to be what it was, actually. Mm. You're eating pussy with horseradish burps. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. Uh, if, yo, no, if why are your targeted ads for, uh, it seems to be sex toys that attach to power drills. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I That's lost your it. It ad? refreshed. Mm. But uh, a, 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 an, an Atlanta homeless man was indicted in a deadly stabbing in a, of a grandmother in an enclave that was pushing to secede over crime. <laughs> so there was an enclave that was, I guess, trying to become sovereign citizens because there was too much crime. And then uh, a homeless guy murdered one of them. <laughs> oh, no. What, what does indicted mean? I feel like that's too big of a term for a homeless man getting arrested. I think if a judge screams at you, <laughs> yeah. you've been indicted. I think that's when they throw the book at you, right? Yeah, they, it's they like write your crimes in a guilty. book and then they launch it at you. <laughs> that's an indictment. Guilty. Yeah, I think they say, we are charging you with this, that, and this. Yeah. I think that's what indicted is. I don't know if it's found guilty. It's Yeah, I think homeless man. people are charged. Don't you have to be white collar to be indicted? Dude, a homeless man stabbed uh, a grandmother. Jeez yeah. Louise. Is this all homeless crime? Well, the grandmother, I think, lived somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But is this all homeless guys stabbing people? So to legally charge means to be indicted. So you haven't found them guilty yet, but you're saying we are charging you with mm. the... Uh, yeah, just a heads up. We're going to... You're going to hang yourself in your cell. Yeah, you're guilty <laughs> for homeless bullshit. I was on my way to visit her for the holidays. Yeah, I think, why do homeless guys got to kill people? Why can't they just be happy? 
<laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Why can't they just fuck crazy women under bridges and leave us yeah, alone? Wait, why do they got to kill people? That's kind of yeah. fucked up. You know what I mean? Appreciate that you're homeless in the greatest country on earth. I mean, a little bit of fucking gratitude would go a long way. Yeah, I saw two homeless guys picking trash out of the Popeyes trash can last night in the Northeast, and I was just like, "Damn! Imagine getting a free Popeyes meal." Yeah, man. <laughs> or, I mean, you have to piece it to your, together yourself out of a bunch of plastic bags with like soda spilled on them, but like, so what? Even better. Eventually, you're getting at least like a three piece meal out of there. Yeah. Oh, easily, dude. Easily. Yeah, and I get. I imagine, like, if you somehow shook off the crushing anxiety of not doing what you're supposed to be doing all day, you know, you're just like kind of, I mean, not to be against the homeless, but a lot of them I see them are just fucking around. They're not even trying. Oh, no. They're just fucking around. And a then you go are, dine on Popeye, it's like... A lot of them even have places to go home to, but they're just like, no way, dude. No no grown-ups allowed. I've heard of that, too. Yeah, I We got the beds that. open, and they're like... No, nah, I mean, then oh, again, no, they I, have shelters to go to. They have families to go home to, but they're just like, yeah, but then there's like, it's like when you got your first job and you're like, man, a 45 minute commute to make $7 an hour. They're like, oh man, I have to take the train for $2 each way just to get heroin. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm just going to stay at the heroin. <laughs> True. It's like, there's adult Huck Finns. I've never there. read any of that stuff. Yeah. I, could, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Just bopping around. Bopping about. Shoeless. <laughs> yeah. The vagabonds. Yeah. I mean, there's I, a, what do you think about when people say, like, we should turn the malls, which are, like, failing, into homeless shelters? I think they kind of already are. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to a mall lately, <laughs> but it's mostly just homeless people, like, wandering around aimlessly, just uh, talking to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Mission accomplished? I mean, what, my, yeah, my question, yeah, true. Go to Franklin Mills. It's seriously just people who will never learn English being screamed at by people who can't speak English anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> what a meeting of the minds. Yeah, that sounds like at that point, you're just running on It's like a spaceport. It's just, like, <laughs> it's just like people from <laughs> different planets. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Franklin Mills if you don't believe me. Dude. My, my thing is like, what do you think they're going to do inside the rehabilitated mall? If you like get homeless dudes well, in the mall. Well, you can kind of set up like a little Disney World fake society for them and give them like doctor's offices. And then they can actually, some of them can dress up as doctors and be the doctors. Whoa. You can get some of them to dress up as police officers and be the police officers. You can get some people. The, Are you talking about setting up the Hepcot Center? <laughs> 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 yeah, once we train them to stop shitting in the fountains. <laughs> I mean, it's your place. You do that if you want to. <laughs> my, my thing is, like, people are like, dude, I just care so much about the homeless people. We should just barricade them in the dying malls. It's like, are you going to go watch them all day? Yeah. Like, well, yeah. no, we should use money for that. It's like, all right, fucking. I, I mean, dude, I'm give them the fucking malls. I don't care. But people, like, sign everyone up for this stuff. It's like, yeah, go fucking go chill with the homeless. Go keep tabs on them all day. Inside of like what used to be Forever Twenty One, yeah, and they're mostly just like attacking you and not even understanding why they're attacking you. It's like, it's yeah. pretty great. I, I mean, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. That's my whole thing. It's like it sucks. So it's like, go fucking do it. Go like dedicate your life to that and report back. I'm telling you right Dude, now, I'm so not funny. To I'm not going to do this with a homeless society inside of a sealed Dude, shopping mall. Dude, why biodome the with homeless people develop within it? <laughs> like watching it, watching a watching a fucking homeless society govern itself. <laughs> Inside of a fucking mall, they wouldn't. Is insane. <laughs> they would just be like, blah, blah. you don't think some people would claim like the Indians kiosk? Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, dude, like dude, the old Foot Locker. That's my shit. This is mine. The track. We need to oh, mint yeah. new arcade yeah, yeah, yeah. tokens. That'd no way, you're gonna devalue the existing arcade <laughs> tokens. That would be the meth heads would take over like the finish line. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> heroin guys would be definitely a hot topic. Just fucking like, uh. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Who's in the department stores? You get the grifters. There's like the grifter, Dennis the Menace, bad guy, homeless guys who are like kind of with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's guys oh, that are yeah. like kind of with it and homeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they like in the department stores, they have their own little society within themselves. Yeah, they they definitely that'd be. I they actually, go, they go. That would look nice on you, and you go, yeah, I don't have the money for it. They go, I'm sure we could make a deal. <laughs> <laughs> you go, okay. And the next thing you know, you're fucking sucking bird and Sam Ash. Well, my thing is, could I still? <laughs> <laughs> you're sucking yeah. dick, leaning on a bongo. <laughs> Could I still like go to the mall? That's the thing, too. What if I want to go to the mall? I promise you don't. Some of the stores <laughs> open. You, uh, <laughs> you're telling me I don't want to go to a Chinese owned fucking used bookstore that sells bamboo shoot plants. Mm. That's all the mall is anymore. 
Uh, it's mostly like defective sock outlets. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty grim though. It's just, dude, I have a theory that all the CDs in existence have been stolen now. There's no more CDs that haven't been stolen. Mm. You just go to a mall and it's just like it's just like a store of again, nothing against Chinese people for hustling them, but it's like you see yeah, fucking well, like they're, they're selling the books. CDs. I think they're they might be fan they might be the fence. Yeah. They might be the fence. And they're selling like the the last time I was in a mall was like you, you could buy CDs, books, or like spiraled bamboo plants in a red jar. And I was like, What <laughs> what the fuck is this mm. store? Yeah, even if you happen upon an FYE in a mall, it looks like a hurricane went through it. Like everything's really far away from each other. There's not enough merchandise to even fill the store anymore. It's all stolen. I think Hot Topic eventually is going to be like Walmart. They're going to sell every. They're going to sell like food and stuff oh. eventually. Do you ever Hot eat Topic the candy? Do you ever eat the candy from Hot Topic? No, it's always on jewelry. It turns your fucking <laughs> poop. Blue. I, turn, I turn my poop blue twice from the Hot Topic candy. Are you sure you weren't eating temporary hair dye? <laughs> I, dude, I'm telling you, I, I used to sell like blue sugar in like a vial, and I'd be like, oh yeah, and I'd eat it. I turned my shit blue, and I said, that's enough of that. <laughs> the dude, second time. Second time I said I was at my aunt's house. I remember the blue turd and I said I got to what am I doing to myself? <laughs> so this is watch these glassy winged sharpshooters fling pee bubbles with anal catapult. Can we give it? Can we get this on the screen? I <laughs> is it? Well, you won't believe it. It's, it's it's a fucking grasshopper, by the way. It's a grasshopper shooting pee bubbles out of its hiney. And try and sharpshooting. Well, stuff. Sid, try not to imagine having sex with this grasshopper, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But I am dying to see this. Yeah, I, I'm actually really excited about this. But yeah, man, I don't know. I I, I do think the uh, I think we got a lot of sideline quarterbacks in this society, dude. What do you mean? Just fucking like put homeless people in the mall. We should do police is different. It's like, yeah, man, obviously police guys can switch it up, but yeah, also like... Yeah, dude, I love, hearing, I love hearing those ideas just being regurgitated by people who are basically just waiting for new episodes of TV shows to come That's out. what I'm saying. Like, that's all you're doing with your life, and it's like, oh, dude, you have all the answers. That's fucking sick. So I'm glad you're not too busy to do anything oh. about it. Yeah, look that? at that. So they, they urinate tiny droplets, and they fucking... Are they doing it. trick shots? Yeah, dude. What the hell? I wish I could do this. How the fuck? I mean, I'm gonna see him hit something. Sharpshooters have a stylus that flicks the. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? That was insane. That's like a fucking trebuchet. Whoa! Did they ever? Oh, what the? Fuck? My God, I couldn't fit in that. <laughs> 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 Damn. What the fuck? And they do be bouncing. Is that where those like bubble tea comes from? Wait, so the, is, is this piss or shit? It's piss. It's piss. So these grasshoppers can shoot little balls of piss out of their butt. That what the fuck? Is it a oh a robot grasshopper? No. So if you have an eye, if you have an Apple Watch, oh, and saying, it shakes out your water. Yeah, it somehow shoots out your water. They're studying grasshopper fucking bee holes. That's phone piss. All right. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's. We I still thought they're going to hit other animals. We still need to do the echo of the dolphin. <laughs> Play through with John C. John Lilly. I almost said John C. Riley. Yeah. <laughs> we must. <laughs> oh, we should give all these dolphins acid. <laughs> yeah, you thought those grasshoppers were going to be like hitting other bugs. That's what I it? thought. A sharpshooter blowing their faces off. I thought they're going to be hitting like moving gnats and shit. Yeah, why brag about how fast it comes out if it's only going in an arch? No, you're not even noticing it. Yet. Yeah, it's weak. Noah. Oh man, dig harder. Yeah, yeah. Dog. <laughs> Yeah, what are they hitting with those droplets? Yeah, I want to see it blow another no. grasshopper's head right off its... They're just grasshoppers peeing. Abdomen. I want to see another Thorax. grasshopper going... Uh, mm. <laughs> catching it actually would be nice. <laughs> yeah, or catching it in their own mouth. That'd be kind of nice, but... Yeah. That was, I thought that would be... I thought that'd be them hitting, like, flies out of the air, but... Mm -hmm. Hey, they're man. Just, they're just kind of fucking You take off gambles, you take gambles, and sometimes, it, you know, it's just like, <laughs> what the hell, you know? <laughs> Sid, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Where are you, brother? What's up? <laughs> what are you up to, man? Let me see. What are you up to? <laughs> Give us right now, tap us into Sid World. What is scrolling across the ticker in your brain? <laughs> I know that, I know those wheels are spinning, bro. Yeah. What's spinning? I know something's moving along. <laughs> you have been on a war path today, dude. <laughs> what? You like a battering ram this whole time. <laughs> you were. Dude. You've been fucking attacking me constantly. <laughs> Stop. 
Stop it. Man, are you taking Stop it to the task right now? No. I, no, no, he's trying to make me say something and convert it to me being obsessed with anal sex. Not at all. Whoa, I don't even want to talk about that. You're the one that brought it up again. Yeah, I want to know what's on your mind now, bro. I want to know what's on your mind now. Not, I was, not I, what's on your penis. I what's swear, on your mind? Wasn't think, was not thinking about that whatsoever. I just want to know. You're, I know you're a man, dude. You're a deep man. I know there's stuff fucking. You had stuff floating. You had that look. I said, my God, I think he figured out the universe. <laughs> Honestly, My I was, God, I, I think was, he's fully <laughs> tapped into the secrets. I was, I was literally at that moment trying to quantify how high I was. <laughs> I was, like, I was Where, what was the quantification? Well, I'm like, I'm looking around. I'm like, I don't think they're as high as me right now. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh God, Not at all. Dude. You, dude, you get yourself into these holes, into these nego holes every week. I do, but like, I do, I, 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 I do. I get to a point where like, like I smoke a little bit, and in the beginning, like I'm like I'm good, and I take those two last hits after everybody else stops, and then they catch up with me. Like 20 minutes into the podcast. Oh, I know. I like, know this. Holy fuck. I'm so high right now. How did I do this? Why did I do this again? Dude. I, I, I knew last week that it fucking sucked when this kicked in. Why did I not fucking mitigate this this time? Yeah, it just... um. I get the impression sometimes that like your head's outside of a car window going 60 miles an hour. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> 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 You do. You get so high. It I love it. And I support it. Yeah. I mean, I dude, <laughs> I feed off your confusion. Dude. I love it. <laughs> I don't want to make you feel worse, but I'm just realizing I forgot to smoke weed. Yeah. I was eating a pork roll egg and cheese sandwich and enjoying it almost on a sexual level. <laughs> and I was like, damn, can't wait to feel even better when I get high as fuck. And then I just didn't. Dude, I and then I drank an entire coffee. I might be sharper than ever right now. Yeah. Dude, I was spinning out because I was like, holy fuck. I don't. Tim doesn't even seem like he's high at all. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. Like, holy fuck. What is wrong with me? <laughs> and then I'm like, what did I smoke? Because, like, the, like dude. It was laced. <laughs> dude, because I got something from a fucking uh, N uh, New York City. Whoa. Yo, oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> got something from uh, <laughs> <laughs> New York City. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I was, like, tripping out on that. I'm like, what the fuck was that real weed? Dude, I was like, yeah. Oh, you was, might be smoking on spice, bro. No, I think I'm good now. I think now that I'm fucking. Yeah, now I that can I tell you were. You were the, game's been, the game's Dude. hit gay too. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I can tell. You're spinning yeah, out. I was. I was. I'm back. I'm back. Now that I know that. Ooh, I needed man. that information. I was fucking. Yeah. That was, I threw the life raft. That was it. Thank you for doing that. I saw you out there. Thank you for doing that. Sid, oh where are God. you? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're willing to explore I, the depths uh, is yeah, yeah. admirable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're back. I started to sweat. I started to sweat. I mean, you do that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hear you. You're sweating <laughs> yes. differently. Yes. It had nothing to do with your Holy body temperature. Holy fuck. Yeah. Welcome back. Yes. Welcome back. <laughs> it's like I get it now. You're welcome back. <laughs> so where'd you get your quantification? Where? What numbers were you kicking around? Oh, I was, it was just, um... You were I, submarine taking in water, dude. Yeah, I was just... I was just, at the point that you, at the point that you called me out, I was just that. Like, Definitely more than everybody in this room, <laughs> like, what, like a lot more than everybody in this room. So that's where I was. And then I was like, "Well, I can't see, I can't see Noah. Yeah. He's got to be high. Like, he's never not, right?" I mean, I'm not sometimes. Yeah, I would say, I would say, I would say don't. Noah's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, did, Noah didn't yeah. do anything, Sid. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no. yes. <laughs> I'm not as high as that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know how Noah's a fucking loser, right? Noah's probably on yeah. fucking hair. There's no way I'm that bad. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take this in the page. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Yeah, this yeah. Dude, I, was, I got scared for a minute there. Time for weed oh, court. Yeah, yeah it's, gotta, it's weed court. Yeah, yeah, we gotta yeah. take the page. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. dude, uh, please, I have a bunch of stand-up shows. Go to mattmccusker.com slash dates and get some tickets. Uh... The first one, I, I know there's Stress Factory, New Jersey, New Brunswick. That'll be cool. And also Stress Factory, god damn, what is it, Connecticut? Connecticut. Something? Yeah, what's the fucking town called? Bridgeport, Connecticut. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Guys, Bridgeport. That's coming up. Come on. And already, then there's a bunch of other cities, dude. I already, Stress I already Factory. agreed to come to those. Yes, please. Also, March 11th, Helium Comedy Club, Philadelphia, we're doing live dab meet. It's an early show. It's 4 p.m., but we're going to have Kiever. Yeah, it's gonna be me and Reed That'll be awesome, and Kiever, yeah. and yeah, and we just have all the time we want to do whatever the fuck we want. So come, it. it'll be a fucking very tight hang. Um, and I okay. forget who the other guest is. It was me, McKeever, 
rainy, possibly tubs. Ooh. I think. I don't know. It'll be a great time. 4 p.m. live podcast mm-hmm. is such a good fucking idea. Yeah, you can get Damn fucked man. up during the day and then you can choose to do whatever you want with the night. Come on. It's a great idea. Man. See you guys there. Yeah.